Hey, it's Chris with The Real Estate Tomato. Um, in this video, I want to show you how to use a plugin called C-Forms. Uh, C-Forms is, is already on most of your websites. Um, it's something that we use to create the contact form, for instance, on your contact page. Um, but C-Forms is a plugin which is not created by The Real Estate Tomato, um, but, but it's one that adds a lot of value to your site. Uh, you can create as many forms as you'd like. You can add those to as many pages or posts as you'd want. And what I like about it, which I think is underused, is the fact that you can add a form directly to a post. So let's say you write a, a post about a listing, um, or you're writing a post uh, for sellers, for instance. You can add a CMA form directly into that post. So let's go check it out. First, you'll want to go into Plugins and make sure that it's activated. Like I said, most of you already have it. It will look like this, C Forms. If it's not activated or if you don't see it in this top section, go down to the inactive plugins and make sure you click activate. Once activated, you'll see C Forms in the top right corner. Now, kind of a warning here, if you click the C Forms in the drop down menu, you will get an internal server error. Unfortunately, since it's a plugin we didn't create, there are you know a few glitches. However, if you click C Forms just in the main menu, the first one, it will take you where you want to go. Here you'll see form name. You'll notice there's some numbers up here, so I can currently the contact form is number one. If I click number two, it will take you to a CMA form that I've created. If you want to add new forms, you just click add new form in the top right corner. And anytime you say uh, make changes, just click one of the update settings on the far right. Here you'll notice I'm on the CMA form and I have an area here where I can create the fields themselves. So you have field name, so here you can have you know, your name, email, phone, um, property information like address, city, zip, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, message. And then to the right of that you have the type of field. There's a drop down menu here. You have all kinds of uh, field types. New field set, for instance, is kind of like the name of the form or the name of that section. Um, text or single line of text allows somebody just to write in basic information, kind of what you see here on the left. Multiple lines of text is kind of what you guys are used to on a, a contact or a comments uh, field when you're reading a blog. Uh, you have check boxes, radio buttons. Uh, select boxes, all kinds of stuff here that you can choose from. And then on the right, you have a few options that you can check. That makes fields either required or it will verify, verify that it's a real email address and so forth. Uh, when you hover over these icons, you'll see little pop-ups that actually explain what they are. Below, once you've created a field, or a form I should say, you can scroll down here and there's messages, text, and button label. Here you have what the submit button will read, what the waiting message is after somebody sent the form. If, it, if they filled out all the required fields, here's the success message, which you guys can customize. You have a failure message. Now, there's a lot of stuff in this plugin which, quite honestly, you'll probably never use. Um, I hardly use half of it, but it has a lot of stuff, so if I skip over anything, um, I definitely recommend going back up to the top and under C Forms drop down menu, you'll find help. And it has a lot of good information there. We'll go back there later. Under messages, text, and the button label, you have core form admin or email options. Here you'll find um, some settings so that when somebody fills out the form, you'll receive an email with this lead. So when you receive an email, from email address will be whatever whatever is in here. Feel free to change this to your domain name. You have admin email address, which is your email address that the lead is sent to. If you have a partner, you can add them as a BCC. The subject of that email, you might put a, a CMA from, or name this so that you know where the lead's coming from within your website. If you make any changes, again, click update settings. Now there's a lot of stuff down here. Um, tell you the truth, I never use it. But, you know, if you want to do some investigating yourself and, and learn more about them, go ahead.
but like I said, there's a lot of usability in the site, a lot of functions, um, which I don't use myself. If you scroll up, again, you have under C forms, you also have some other options. Uh, tracking is a big one. Anytime somebody fills out the form, you'll get emailed. But just in case you lose those emails, or maybe you want to download all of the leads that you've received from the website, you can come to this tracking section and all of your leads will show up here. If this does not, if tracking does not show up in the drop down menu, just click global settings, scroll down to the database input tracking, click the little plus sign if it's not open already, and just check these three boxes here. Once you've checked these three boxes, click update settings, go back up to C forms, and you should see tracking. Like I said, they have a great help menu here. So definitely go to the help menu. One of the areas I suggest is configuring form input fields. This area will teach you how to create drop down menus, um, allow you to create uh, check boxes. So let's say on a CMA, you have uh, that some of you can check fireplace, pool, whatnot. Uh, create all the features that their house might have. So there's a lot of stuff here. Really, I can make this video about two hours long about C forms, but I definitely recommend checking out the help section. Once you've created the form, you can add it to any poster page simply by going to the poster page that you want to add it to. I'm going to go to this post here that I've created, um, and let's just say this is a post for sellers. I'm just going to place the cursor wherever I want that form to appear. And then in the text editor, you'll find this icon here that says CF2. When you click on it, you get a pop-up that says your forms. Just click the little drop-down, choose the form you want to add, click insert. In the back end of your website, you're going to see this code here. Click update post. And now when I go check out my website, you'll see I have this post. And then at the bottom, I have a form here. Ask for contact information, ask for property information, include some drop down menus so they can choose bedrooms or bathrooms, and then they can click submit and you get emailed this lead. So it's a great way to add a good call to action within a post rather than just linking to your contact page. You can actually add a form directly to any post or any page. Um, this is the CMA form here, and like once you create the CMA form, you can add it to multiple pages so you don't have to recreate it every time. Uh, if you have any questions about C forms, I definitely recommend checking out the help section or emailing molly at realestatetomato.com.